setting us up. My thing says we are now streaming. <laughs> I don't see it anywhere, but hey, oh. <laughs> it says we're live. Okay, it took cool. me to. We are learning together. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Liz. And I am Dr. Abby. The two of us are going to be hopping on here every week on Wednesday at 9.30 to talk about how our movement and postural patterns can affect our singing performance. Yeah, and this is really directed towards singers and teachers of singing, because as we all know, what we do with our body greatly affects what comes out of our mouth when we're singing. <laughs> Yes. A quick scheduling thing. Next week, we're going to be here on Monday instead of Wednesday because of the Nats conference. Liz, you want to shout out to them real quick? Yeah, shout out to the Nats. National Association of Teachers of Singing has moved their in-person national conference online in a very short period of time. So shout out to everyone at Nats for getting that ready. And the conference goes from next Wednesday to the following Tuesday, I believe. So next week, it's on Monday, but it'll normally be on Wednesday. Yeah. So we thought we'd just hop on here and actually introduce each other and how we met and why we work together. Um, I met Liz because uh, in preparation for a wedding three years ago, two years ago really, but I met her three years ago, um, we decided to do a first song instead of a first dance, um, which uh, was not my idea. <laughs> But I had grown up singing in, you know, choruses and um, musicals and things. My husband grew up do participating in a lot of different musical activities, but never singing in an organized fashion. So she managed to take lessons with two different experience levels and um, move us forward in a really comfortable, really fun kind of way. And it was adorable the whole time. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so yeah, so I guess, but yeah, no, so I'll talk about Abby actually continues to study with me, which is super fun. And I actually see Abby as a patient. She is my PT. Um, so we met a few years ago, as she mentioned, and then we didn't talk to each other for a couple of years. And she reached out to me last fall because she left her prestigious job as a manager at a PT clinic or a manager of a PT clinic and went out on her own. Forte, you'll see her uh, logo on the back there, yeah. And um, at the time I was struggling because I had had an injury about a year and a half prior to that. I fractured my ankle. Now I know it was a relatively minor injury, but at the time the medical advice I got was pretty crappy. And I <laughs> ended up being in a boot for three months. And I'm not sure if any of you have experienced this, but when you're in a boot, you're off kilter. And so I had that for three months. So you can imagine my body was displeased when the boot finally came off. And it had been almost a year since the boot was off when I saw Abby. I had been going to PT and it was helping, but I was still, I was having issues with my body. I was shoulder issues, hip issues, anyway. So I went to see her for that when she started her own practice. And the next day I went to a singing rehearsal. Now, just a little background, I had been having voice problems, which I did not put together with the body issue stuff I was having. And, um, but the next day after seeing Abby, my voice was better. I had been singing off pitch. I had had no subtlety in volume. I had one volume, I could sing loud. Um, and it just, singing didn't feel good. It felt like I was working all the time. And uh, as you know, that sucks. So the day after I had this appointment with Abby, <laughs> I had a rehearsal with my pianist and my pitch was corrected. I had breath for days. My phrases were so much longer. I could sing the heck out of a pianissimo and I just hadn't been able to do that in months. And I had no idea that the vocal issues that I was struggling with were because of this injury I had a year ago and had been in a boot for three months. I was, I was twisted and I had no access to my breath essentially. So that's when it really struck me. Like, hey, I could see voice teachers for years and these issues never would have been fixed. So 
I will uh, preach Abby's greatness, you know, from here to the ends of the earth, but I also invited her to do a workshop for the local Nats chapter, the Puget Sound Nats chapter, of which I am now the president as of like yesterday, so I'm super excited about that. Um, and Abby came and did a workshop for some of the Nats teachers to great reception. And that just showed me even more that we as voice teachers can be really good at what we're doing, working with the voice, but if there's a body issue happening, well, there's not a lot we can do except put on a Band-Aid. So it just really showed me that we need to work as teams with body workers to serve our singers as best we can and ourselves. Yeah, that workshop was so much fun to combine kind of the physicality of singing and the musicality, you know, not being a voice teacher. You know, it was nice to hear the other the other side, we're a team, the other side of, um, of the changes that you can hear and see once someone restores their kind of a postural sense of themselves. Um, we work really well together because Liz has an extensive training in the Alexander technique and body mapping. So she's got those postural cues and kind of the knowledge of, of how to work with someone from that standpoint. And I'm a PT who has some um, background in singing and playing a few musical instruments. So it's nice to kind of combine forces here. So call to action for all of you singers out there. If you have questions, if you have kind of like a story of like this thing just isn't working for me and nobody's figured out why, um, please submit them. We would love to serve you and give you the information you need to, you know, sing freely and be your best selves. <laughs> um, my tagline for my business is play life loudly. You know, this is, this is what we want for you. So. You can email us, um, you can send direct messages on Instagram. I'm Forte Performance PT. Liz is at Fraser Voice Studio. You can also find us under, under our business names on Facebook. You know, whatever works for you to contact us, please send us questions, um, stories, anything that you'd like us to comment on. Again, we'll be here every week. And if you don't send us stuff, we are happy to nerd out. <laughs> Um, yeah, and if you have a video of yourself that you want to send us, go ahead and send it. Because I don't know about you, but in the past, I've seen videos of myself and I've asked myself, why am I doing this while I'm singing? <laughs> it is obviously not serving a purpose. It probably is serving a purpose. We just don't know what that purpose is. So shoot us some videos or questions. And yeah, we'll totally nerd out and have fun. So thanks, y'all. We look forward to, uh, what did you say, Abby? Playing life loudly? That's right. <laughs> awesome. All right. Bye. See y'all next time. Have a great day.